Hello. Today, I want to show off using stacked branches in Lazy Git. So first of all, some motivation. Um, often you raise a pull request uh, with some changes in it and you, you then want to kind of just continue and go and do the next thing. And the next thing directly depends on the code from the first pull request. Um, but you don't want to just go and kind of pour more and more code into one pull request because it just slows things down. It makes it harder for reviewers. You also don't want to go and um, make a completely new branch off of the main branch because it because you actually need the code that's in the first pull request. It's like a natural evolution of the feature that you worked on so far. So um, uh, uh, GitHub, for example, does support things like... Um, pull requests where you kind of say, you know, you get the first pull request and you get the second pull request and that's kind of based on the first one. So it only shows the changes that are different between the two pull requests and so on. So you kind of have like a stack of pull requests. And then over in Git, um, you might want to have a corresponding stack of branches, um, which end up being pushed to the, those pull requests. Um, so uh, let me start with a contrived example. I'm going to, where am I? Contrived example, let's say I'm trying to add some food to my repo, which makes no sense, but it's just a contrived example. So let's call this add. And let's say that I'm gonna start by adding fruits. Now I'm just gonna add some empty commits here, but you can imagine there's real code, you know, it's, it's, all, it's more just about the structure of Git that we're dealing with here. So let's say we'll add orange, and we're going to add apple and we're going to add grape. Okay. And okay, so that gets pushed up for review. You're waiting on somebody to review that, but you're ready to go and do the next step. Um, and so you make a new branch called add soda for lack of a better idea. Um, and again, for the sake of this example, just assume that the soda branch actually does depend on stuff from the, the fruits branch. Um, so, you know, we're in add soda and now I'm going to go and say, you know, add, uh, what do we call it? Coke, add Sprite, whoop, add solo. Okay. You'll notice this little, um, little branch icon here. That's just telling us this is the tip of another branch. Um, specifically the, the tip of another branch kind of like in our stack, which is to say, you know, it's based off the main branch and we're based off the tip of, of, of uh, the, this, uh, this base branch. So I can also, if I expand this by going shift equals, we can see what actual branch uh, name it is there. Okay. Now suppose that um, our reviewer for this first pull request, our, our fruits branch has come back and said, you know what, it'd be good if you had a mandarin um, in this pull request. So we say, okay, fine, that's pretty reasonable, I guess. Now, a lot of people at this point would go and say, okay, I'll check out the fruits branch. I'll say add mandarin. And I'll go and check out the soda branch. And then you have to do this dance where you uh, set the, uh, the base uh, commit, which I'm doing with shift B here. You come back and rebase onto the fruit branch. And now we have everything's back in line again. We've got the fruits branch with the uh, mandarin and the soda branch is on top of that mandarin commit. That's a bit of a hassle. Um, and often, often your reviewer is not asking you to um, add some brand new commit. They're often asking you to fix up an existing commit, right? So um, suppose I go in here, this is just the repo I'm using as an example going to put a random comment in here and I say okay this thing belongs in the grape commit so I can press shift F and then do a fix up um, but it's a bit awkward because this fix up commit is at the top of this stack now right it's above our solo and sprite and coke and it's kind of irrelevant I kind of need it to be down here so then what you would do is you'd say all right I'll just uh, you know I'll do like a, a rebase and drag this guy down um, but then it's like, well, I kind of still have to get that to be the tip of this commit. So again, it's just a bit awkward. How do I get it over here? 
maybe I've got to do a cherry pick and paste it and then it's like, okay, that's good. But then over here again, actually that seemed to work fine. Anyway, it's still a hassle to do all of this stuff. So let's see how things look when you actually have this update refs thing, which Git supports. So I'll just quickly go and remove these two commits and I'll go and remove this commit as well and, uh, and Mandarin while we're at it. Um, cool, okay, so let's jump out of here. We're gonna go git config. This is the command. It's uh, dash dash global rebase dot update refs true. And let's rerun through what we just did before. So this time around, I'm not gonna check out the fruits branch. I'm just only gonna work from the, the, the tip of the stack basically, which is this soda branch. So uh, what do I do? So the first thing was about adding that Mandarin uh, commit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press E on my uh, the tip of the, the fruit branch. And you can see here that it's basically saying there's this new update ref entry in the uh, to-do. This is kind of like an interactive rebase to-do file you're looking at. And what it's saying is that when we press, when we say to continue, it's going to re it's going to update the uh, fruits branch to align with what we've done here inside of our add soda branch. So in this case, I'm going to go and add another, what is it, add mandarin. Okay, so that's being added. Um, and then I'm going to continue. Okay, and you can see here this time around that the mandarin uh, commit, it says it's, it's the tip of the fruits branch. If I look at the fruits branch, there it is, Mandarin. That's really cool. I didn't have to check out the fruits branch. I'm all working from just the one branch. The next thing is we want to do that fix up in the uh, the uh, grape commit. So back in here again, random comment, stage that. Okay, I come down to here and I go fix up, create a fix up commit. Now notice what changed here. Rather than the fix up commit being at the top of uh, my you know, soda branch, it's it's at the top of the fruits branch. And likewise, if I look at the fruits branch, it's showed up there. That's really cool. You can also go and do other stuff, right? So if I go and add another comment here, maybe this belongs in the um, in the Apple branch. Um, you can just directly amend it as well. And again, we can see that the uh, so that you know that came through to the Apple branch, but the fruits branch has been automatically updated. So that's really cool. Um, obviously, if in the real world, you shouldn't be going and amending commits directly. If it's waiting on a pull request review, you should just stick to fix up commits so that the reviewer has an easier time tracking what's changed. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's a really cool thing you can do. Um, and uh, effectively, you know, you can do this with multiple things. Maybe, maybe I want another one called add, what's a food that's not a fruit or a soda? Um... I can't think of anything other than meat, and I do apologize to vegetarians, but that's just the example I'm gonna go with. Okay, so let's say here I'm gonna go add beef, and then add lamb. Okay, so, you know, maybe someone goes and finds some, you know, other thing I need to go and fix up uh, in the uh, soda branch, right? Maybe Sprite needs this fix up. I can do a fix up here. And boom, it's added to the soda branch. So you can kind of do these things where you have these stacks and um, you can just be working off this one branch and anything you need to do, you just go and you know do the fix up where you need it. It gets added to the right corresponding branch. And then you just go and, you know, the, the one annoying thing is you still have to check the branch out to then you know push the change. So that's a bit annoying. Um, we'll fix that at some point. We'll find some way to make it convenient to go and just push all the changes. Um, but at the very least, when it comes to actually making the changes to the commits, uh, it's very easy to do that from the comfort of the tip of the of the stack, basically. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else that uh, was useful to talk about. Amending, fixing up, the update refs thing. Um, I feel like there was another thing here. Um, I can't recall what. One thing that's cool is if I go to, if I want to squash all of these right now, I can just go Shift S and then say apply the fix up commits, and everything gets squashed down. Uh, and likewise, you know these guys, there's no more fix ups here, so it all gets squashed down to the right place. Um, 
and that's a nice thing to do before you go and say you know push changes um but uh yeah that's the gist of it so if you find yourself having you know a couple of pull requests that are kind of based on each other um then this is a really nice flow to be able to go and um do all of that stuff um what i didn't demonstrate was about merge conflicts if there are merge conflicts then once you resolve them it'll be resolved for all the other branches as well so that's also a really cool benefit um so you know and if you don't find yourself needing this it might be like like often when people learn about this technique they start making much smaller pull requests because it just becomes a lot easier to do that so previously, if you had a big thing to do, you might just go and put 2,000 lines of code in one pull request, and this poor reviewer has to go and piece it all together themselves. And it gets it takes ages to get merged because it just takes ages to review, and um, you know it's a real hassle. But if you have three or four pull requests and you've broken it down into smaller chunks, um, it's a lot easier for a reviewer to come along and say, okay, yes, this looks good. So you merge that and then you've got you know, two or three more and you can kind of do it piecemeal. And when you do it that way, um, there's much less chance of uh, you know, merge conflicts with the main branch because of the, the main branch progressing while you've got this uh, PR in limbo. So um, yeah, I find this uh, really useful. There's some things in here which are specific to LazyGit, um, like the fact that the fix up commit goes to the right place. Um, I'm not aware of other uh, Git tools that do that, although to be honest, I haven't really looked that hard. Um, but uh, yeah, so LazyGit is a it's it's really uh, I think well optimized for this stacked branches use case at the moment. Um, so I've been having a lot of fun using it, and I think uh, you might too. Um, if you have any like ideas on how this could be improved, please let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, with that, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.